You're not a car whose best feature is mileage or suspension or an anti-lock braking system, although you do have a nice pair of headlights. And I can't go online and write a review saying, absolutely wonderful, smart as a whip, would take again, five stars. No, you are, as QSAC said, a unique constellation of attributes. And I wish I could be so inspired to tell you exactly what you need to be. I wish the answer to that question came easy. I have put off writing this book for as long as I could because how would I even begin? How does one gather the cosmos into a salt shaker? How does one grip the oceans into a shot glass? You held me close, held me together, kept me whole. When I was trying my damage to make it fall apart, held on to the last bit of sanity that tethered me to this earth. And when you did, you let me find my way back to you. I wish I could explain how you saved me. But all I wanted to do was save it to memory. I wish I could explain how the ground I stand on cannot compare to the rock that you have become for me. Nothing comes easy with love. It is surfing the crest of a supernova. It is riding Taurus to joust against Orion. It is inhaling the nothingness between stars. Because you promised me that everything would be fine as long as I held your hand. It is facing down the dragon, not because he came to rescue the princess, but because it's the only thing that makes sense. It is madness and it's sublime sanity. And I told myself, I would never love this way again. I told myself, I understand what love is now. You can always spot the fools. There are the people who say things like, I know what love is now. So thank you, Jack, for making me feel foolish again. And perhaps that is what I love most about you.